Hello. Welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angel Leah Joy. Thank you for joining me for the weekly oracle offering. We are calling the Enchanted Map Oracle as offered by Colette Baron Reed as well as asking for supporting messages through the Ascended Masters Oracle as offered by Doreen Virtue. I will open with the invocation. You can, if you like, set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. And the Ascended Master's Oracle I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready and willing to understand. And so it is. In the beginning of the week, the Enchanted Map Oracle offers Number 5, Goblins Fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. Colette offers in the upright positions. Goblins are born when you're wounded and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. There, they remind you of that which brought them into being. By mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-worth, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's, and they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation. A goblin's card appearance is an opportunity for growth, however, and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentments and negative self-talk. Within you is the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help heal you. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of the negativity. And the Ascended Masters Oracle offers in support Crystals with Epona. Doreen offers, This card comes to you as a sign that you'd benefit from working with crystals. Epona, the fairy queen, knows the value of connecting to the spirit of nature. You can find or purchase crystals at bookstores, spas, and gem shows. Hold each crystal <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
to know whether it feels right to you. Carry or wear the crystals throughout the day for healing, protection, and increased intuition. You can also add crystals to your bathtub water or place them on your bedroom nightstand or beneath your bed to connect on an even deeper level with these remarkable gems. The additional meanings Doreen has included. Crystal children are involved in the answer to your question. Your life purpose involves working with crystals. You have a connection to the elemental realm such as the fairies and crystals. Since Epona is the patroness of horses, this card may signify a message about a horse or horses. Doreen adds, Epona is the fairy queen goddess who oversees and protects horses. Temples were built in her honor during the Roman and Celtic eras where horses were essential to everyday life. Epona is also a protector of the environment and nature spirits. You can call upon Epona for help of any kind involving horses or to help you commune with natures, fairies, crystals, or the environment. And as we move into the week, The Enchanted Map Oracle offers number 28, Movement. You are in a time of positive forward motion. In the upright position, Colette offers, This is a time for positive momentum as you come out of a period of restriction. You're in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business. Regardless, you can't remain where you are anymore. You feel compelled to go forward, no matter what your inquiry. You will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut begin to open as if by magic. Movement is also a state of mind. The fog lifts and you now know the actions you need to take. This isn't time for fear. Let it go and move forward. The Ascended Masters offer and support help and healing with Tolarian. Doreen offers This card is a sign of healing. Your divine healing power has awakened and you feel compelled to help others to heal. Just as you've been healed, so too do you want others to enjoy health and vitality. You're supported in making life changes so that you can continue to heal yourself and others. Let go of any fears or restrictive thinking to fully open the miracles of healing. The additional meanings included for this card. An illness or injury is healed or healing. You are a healer. It is good and safe for you to change to a healing career. Study healing modalities. Doreen offers Hilarion, also known as Saint Hilarion or Master Hilarion, was a 4th century Middle Easterner who became renowned for his successful healing work. Hilarion was beloved by both Christians and those who practiced the old religions. Much of his life and healing work was immortalized by Saint Jerome's writings which described Hilarion healing by commanding earthbound spirit attachments to leave. Call upon Hilarion for any issue involving healing or the clearing of energy. And at the end of the week, 
The Enchanted Map Oracle Offers Number 19 Dragon's Lair You are always protected and divinely directed. In the reversed position Colette offers Red flags shouldn't be ignored. Don't be seduced into learning a lesson that will hurt your heart. Temptation and intrigue abound, but be careful, because you can't win this particular challenge. Heed this gentle warning about wanting and longing, and the fantasy of belonging to someone, something, or an identity that has no true substance or longevity. Ignore this alarm, and you'll wander in circles near the edge of a dragon's lair. Choose another path, for your treasures lie elsewhere. And in support, the Ascended Master's Oracle offers... Listen with Manjushri. Doreen offers, you can hear your divine guidance best by quieting yourself and listening. Shut out noisy stimulation like telephones and television and relax in a quiet place. Don't try to make anything happen. Just listen to your own thoughts, breath, and the rhythm of your heart. Then Mentally ask questions of your guides and angels. Listen to the loving truth they speak in your heart, body, and mind. Listen to your own inner truths. Trust your intuition and take action accordingly. The additional meanings Doreen has included. Have a quiet retreat. Your guides and angels are talking to you. Are you listening? Less talking and more listening is called for right now. Admit your true feelings to yourself. Listen to what messages any aches or pains are trying to tell you. The body always talks to those who listen. Doreen has offered in addition... Manchushri is the Buddhist deity of wisdom who holds a sword to cut through illusions and bring about clarity and understanding. Call upon Manjushri for help with understanding divine messages and to increase your receptivity to divine intelligence and wisdom. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for standing in your truth, for acknowledging the hurts that have been, for being willing to move past the darkness, and to be able to stand within your truth in the light, in the wholeness of who you are. Know that movement in both spirit and body are ahead. And as you go forward, know that the ego is still willing to try to shake the foundation of the dream that you pursue. But know that upon connecting with the oneness that is, allowing the health and healing and offering it, to those you come through life with and being willing to listen to that deep inner voice that guides you along your dreams calling. This is indeed a blessing of a week. Acknowledge it for what it is. Allow your truth to become apparent to yourself, if no one else. Be well. You are loved. I will join you again next week.